going to be uh, another extremely tough challenge. Um, Ulster champions in their own backyard, uh, you know, like a pre-run for our championship meeting further on down the line, but I think Monaghan have proved it. Two Ulster titles in three years, great footballers over. Um, probably a wee bit further down the line than we are in terms of the preparation and, and different things and you know they, they, they know what they're about and a very very good league campaign last year. Come championship time um, Monaghan will know a lot about us, we know a lot about Monaghan from um, watching them in the Ulster Championships the past couple of years so it's very hard to gauge if a, a league fixture will have any burn come championship time at the start, in the start of June. But with my eyes um, Ulster is by far the strongest province uh, would not matter who you played any any day of the week, you're going to come up against um, a good team and have a, a strong, you know, opposition facing you and, and for a tough tough game. And we have two of them this year in the league, and then the other counties are maybe going to have three or four. So uh, maybe Division Two's uh, not a good place to be this year if you're from an Ulster county. A lot of the lads are going to experience Division One football for the first time, so they'll maybe see the the um, step up again from Division 2, so um, it's only going to help them in the long run and hopefully, as I say, if we can maintain our place in Division 1 and stay there, then it's going to help uh, the younger lads and down football in general. Division 2 is very competitive too, even from playing in it last year, you would see like the likes of Tyrone and Derry and Armagh who are in Division 2 this year would, you know, see themselves being able to, you know, compete in Division 1, um, Tyrone have proved that year in, year out, so um, the top two divisions are very, very, you know, tough, but I think it's like the glamour of playing the likes of your, like, your Dublins and Donegal's and Mayo's and Kerry's that, you know, bring that wee bit of excitement to the table.